let me talk about two uh, interesting research projects. The first one is called Momentum Turning Points and was recently published in the Journal of Financial Economics. And the second is called Breaking Bad Trends, recently published in the Financial Analyst Journal. So let me start by giving the basic landscape here. And it has to do with the usefulness of momentum. And one issue with momentum is that you need to choose a speed. So a fast speed means a very short look back, let's say one month. And when you look at a short look back, that could be really noisy. So you could get a lot of false signals. If you use a slow signal, which would be a longer look back, let's say 12 months, well, um, that is less noise, but it's not as responsive to information. And you might miss some turning points. So we start off in momentum turning points as creating four different regimes, and they're very intuitive. So a uh, bear regime is where the past month's return is negative and the past year's return is negative. A bull state is the opposite, with both of them being positive. And then we've got two turning point states. So correction would be the past year is positive and the past month is negative. A rebound, that past year is negative and the past month is positive. So what's fascinating is what happens after the classification of these states. So again, you classify and then look at the next month and measure the average returns. And you can see that the result is striking. So after bull states, there's a strong positive average return, and this is based upon the S&P 500 from 1963. And after bear states, you've got a strong negative return. So this classification is very useful in separating the returns. It also works for volatility. Notice the bear volatility is much higher than the bull. And I want to emphasize, this is predictive. There's no model being fit. We're just classifying based upon past returns. But when we use these two signals, we can get this large separation in returns. So that's where we start. And this is just on its own uh, useful. But what about the turning points? And this is indeed the subject of our Breaking Bad Trends a paper. So what we do is pursue what many consider the holy grail of trend following. And that is, what speed should you choose? And can you alter that speed through time? So instead of having a rule, well, we're only going to look at 12-month momentum, what about a rule that switches? between one month and 12 months. And that's what we develop in our paper. And it's very clear that the more frequent um, there are turning points, the worse performance actually is. And we can see this clearly, that uh, on the far right, you've got many turning points and the performance is poor with negative sharp ratios. But when you've got fewer turning points, the performance is much better. So this is really what we're dealing with. So we want to capture some of these turning points, and the only way to do it is to have a dynamic rule to switch the speed of the momentum a signal. And that's what we implement, and we show in many markets an advantage to actually doing this. This research, we think, is useful for institutional investors, retail investors, uh, indeed, uh, asset allocators, asset owners should be able to learn something from our research that will help their portfolio design.